Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right. Okay, yes, now, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's, let's give it a go. So now I just log into my, I just log into my project, my, I just log into my, my GitHub account. Sorry, network is a little bit bad. So I'm just trying to show you what you are expected to do as soon as I know we have been doing it, but I just want to like explain what you as what you expected to do as soon as um, you are asked to start. So now I just log into let's assume this is the project I open. I log into my GitHub account and um, I want to start the project. So first thing I need to do, which is um, the first step, is I need to this site. So I'll just come here. I will click on copy, right? I make sure it's under this HTTPS. I will say copy. So now I want to upload the default folder so that we can start working. So first thing I do is I have copied it. I will go to my, I will simply go to my desktop. Let's assume I'm picking my file from my desktop. So I will create a new folder. I can just call it project. I can just call it project. Then I open my, <clears throat> I open my, I open my Visual Studio Code. I just move my project folder here. Okay, so I just maximize it. Now my project folder is here, right? So I click on my terminal. I click on new terminal, my terminal is up. I click my place, my cursor on my terminal is already inside my project folder, okay? So first thing I do is I say git init, I press enter. So next thing I do is I say git, I press enter. So git is cloning it. If you watch, the folder is coming down. Okay. So Git is done cloning it for me. So, and I have my folder now. I have my README. So I now need to do what? Enter into this group project one. So I would use the C, D. I will put group, the spelling must be correct. Project one, I'll press enter. I'm inside the folder. You can see it now. Now, next thing I need to do at this particular point, I need to change my branch. So I will now ask myself which task is given to me. I'm trying to solve this task number one. I'm solving task number one. Task number one say we should set up. Task number one say we should set up GitHub. Let's check this task number one. So on the task number one, we have set up GitHub. So the task number one here, you see it's set up GitHub, okay? Now, but don't bother yourself on, on, on what I'm doing currently now. So what I, I will do now, I, will, I have started, I will move it to, to do. I have on it in set up GitHub, okay? I will go back to my, this is what I'm trying to solve now. I'll move it in progress. I will proceed. I will now go back to my, so yeah, I need to change the I will change my branch to set up GitHub. I will now say git status git git checkout minus git hub. So I'll press enter. 
So Git have actually switched to set up GitHub for me, All right? So I haven't done that now. I will now go and copy my local program, my local file. Remember, I have this app on my phone already. So I'll open this folder, keep it by the side, open this internal one, keep it by the side. I'll go and copy it. I have the, I've already designed the app already. So I'll just come here and select all of them. One, two, three, do control C. I will come back to this folder now. I will say control V. So I'll paste it here. I will close this. I will also close this. So if I come here now, if I maximize here now, you now see three of them. You see the image file. You will see the um, index file. You also see my style sheet, right? So now I will now proceed to add this. I will now do git add stop i'll press enter it has been added next thing i will do now i need to commit it i will say git commit minus m so i'll put the commit name i can put the commit name as set up git git of I just with set up GitHub, I will put enter. So I have committed all the images and everything. So the next thing I need to do now, I will do my push from here now. I can now say, okay, since I've committed it, let me push. I will now say git push origin. Git push origin set up github okay so i'll press enter so automatically if everything works successfully it's pushing so i'm done pushing it right i have pushed my git so you can see it git is done pushing so now what i need to do i will go back to my git i will progress this i'm done setting up github so as soon as i'm done this task has been completed so I'm done with it. Okay, so I've closed that, that particular task. If you now go back to the Git project, if you go back to the Git project, if you go back to the Git project, you'll find out that there is a new push. You'll find out that there's a new push here. And the push is set up GitHub. I'm done with the setup GitHub. So it's now left for me on my own side here now. I will be the one to compare what you have and I will merge it, right? So if I have comment, I can reject your merge and tell you to redo it. You will go back and redo it. But I'll put the comment. If you need clarification, you ask questions. So we clarify on it, then you proceed. But I'll put a, a, an elaborate comment that will explain what you, are, what you are supposed to do. But if, however, you do not understand, you can contact through message or mail then, and you will get feedback back as well so i'm done with this now right so now let me match this one at once i will say compare code i will say compare code set up github okay i will check what you have done i will scroll down to see all the code you have done you added one run and something code <coughs> i will go through all of them one after the other then i will go to your html file this is your html file here which is the index.html I will go through it. If there's anything I don't want, I can add comment between your code here. I can come here and say, let's say this logo, I want you to change it. I can come here and I put a comment. So, and I'll tell you to change this particular statement. So, <clears throat> I'll check your CSS. If everything goes well and I'm good with what you have done so, if I'm cool with what you have done, I will now proceed with the. Okay, I will say, okay, that's cool. I will go back and I will now say, create pool and I will accept your pull request. If I create a pull request and I will say, match pool and I will say, confirm pool. So immediately I, I'm done with this. I can choose to delete your branch immediately. I can come here and I say, delete branch. So I've deleted the branch you sent. You understand? And that's all. So now, 
if I go to my men now, if I go to the men, if I go to the projects now, I will see my men back. Let me just click on group project. So you will see that I now have these three files. Before I have only readme file, okay? I now have these three files in this project, okay? So now let's assume Anyang now want to start doing his work. Let's go back to the next. Let me open another git so that will be. I don't want to be going front and back. Let's assume Anyang want to start doing his own work. I have set it up, and Anyang want to pick his own now. So. Anya will come here now. He will see. He will see this file. He say, okay, okay. What Anya will do is, he will come back and he will do the same thing. He will copy. Okay. But if I'm the one copying again, I will no longer clone. I will do what pull. I will not clone. I will pull. I will also do that. Okay. Now let's assume Anya want to do the second task, and the second task for Anya here is to is to create. Let's take the second task. The second task for Anyamu here is to create. Okay, that's one has been done is to create home page. Home page have also been done. The home page is exactly what it did. So I can move this home page direct to completed. So we have created it already. So let's see, Anyamu now want to work on create a battle page. Anyamu will now move it to commence and send it to in progress. Now, because he have actually started. So now, what Anyamu will do is to still do the same pushing. But I want to teach you people another thing now. So since currently on this particular branch now, right? Let me say I'm the one that is still working on this project. I want to add another thing, which is about us. So what I need to do, I don't need to clone again. I have cloned the first time. I don't need to clone again. So what I need to do is to update my local respiratory. And how do I do that? First of all, since I have cloned and I have pushed, I will go back to my men. I will say, git. I'll go back to my men after I have pushed the first one. Maybe the next day I wanted to start working again. So I'm not cloning again. What I will do is I will say, git check out. I will come back to my men. Check out because currently I am on setup GitHub. So, but now I'm going back to my men. I will say git checkout men. I will press enter. So automatically, if you see it here, it has taken me back to men. So now, since I'm on men, I will now do git pull. I'm no longer cloning. I will say git pull. I will paste the URL. I will press enter. So automatically, git will update my men for me. So Git have updated my men. So if you watch my men now, it's updated. So please, you must use this pool to pull down what you have, and you must pull it to your men as well, right? So I won't pull it now, and I want to start working. I will now go back again to, I will create another branch again, and I will start working. Then when I'm done, I will push that branch. But when I want to pull, I pull to my men. I don't know if I'm making sense. Hello, can someone hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Is it is it is it confusing? It is not confusing. It's just like I'm. Um, I will be able to get more or in depth understanding from the recorded video. I don't know for that person, but for me, like it's not confusing much. I know I can flow along. It's just the codes. I'm not writing the codes down. So once I'm rewatching it again, I'll get to write the codes down. Okay, on Wednesday, now we give her the code. The only new code I'm adding now is that pool. I think that's the only new code I'm adding so far is the pool. Other than that, you are with all the remaining codes. Okay, so and the pull request, we just use it to pull down what we have done. So we won't keep on cloning. You clone for the first time, haven't cloned the first one, you keep on pulling. You pull to your men, and don't worry, you make mistakes. They are all accepted, right? Then you correct yourself, and at the end, victory becomes yours. 
So don't be scared of making mistakes. It's part of the business. Okay. So, but just understand the process so that if we are going to explain further, it won't be much confusing. It will just be okay. Where are you? Okay. Take this next step. Take this other one. That's all. Okay. So now I have pulled this particular thing. I want to create a battles page, right? So what I need to do now is before I start creating, I need to create another. I need to create another brand. I will now say git checkout. Git checkout about us. Minus M about us. I press enter. Sorry. Please minus B, not minus M. Okay, bit git have actually switched to a, a battles. You can see it here. Now, what I now need to do is I'll come here now. I want to create a battles page. I will come here, I'll create a new file. It will open. I will write a battles. Dot please make sure it's in small letter. Dot HTML. I'll press enter. So I've created a new page, right? So I'll go to the index now. I will copy everything inside the index. I will paste it inside this page called About Us. Okay, now I can open my About Us because let me be seeing it so that I will know what I'm doing on the About Us page. Let me minimize now and share my screen so that I will be seeing the About Us page as I also work. So the About Us page is open, but the About Us page is the same as my index. Take note, right? So I want to convert this about us to index, and I've created it. I just copied all everything inside my index and paste it inside about us. Okay, let me close the index now because I don't need it again. I want to work on my on the about us page. Okay, so this is the so what I need to do here is I will now start since it's about us page, every other thing must leave except every other thing must leave. Except this banner here, all these ones will leave, all these ones will leave, all these ones will leave. And the next thing that will be here is, is only the footer. So I will start from the beginning. This is the head. This is the body where the page started. This is the navbar. Navbar is the logo. Navbar is this logo and this URL. That's the navbar. So the head now, this particular head is what we use to hold this banner that you are seeing here now. You can see the comment here, a wonderful gift, which is this wonderful gift you are seeing here now. Okay, so now this is where the event starts. Look at the event here. And I don't need this event, but I want to use this event in future. So I will skip this event and go to the next one. Next one is uh, exploit the world. This is where the exploit the world starts. You can, this is where the exploit the world starts. So I will remove it. I will just click here and I will remove it. Okay, I will press delete. If I press delete, now you see that exploit the world have disappeared. Okay, so next one is toil. I will remove everything about the toil. So as you are removing, please be very sensitive so that you won't remove the aspect that you will need and it will just scatter your file. But even though that happened, you can use control Z to call it back. So I've removed it. So it's remaining this, this, this particular event. So this event now, what I need to do is to remove all the right up I will just leave only the head. I will remove this column. I don't need it. I don't need this column here. I will also remove this column here. I will remove this column here. <coughs> okay, so I will not change this. I will change this title now to about us. I will do about us. Okay, so I've actually created a template now. If you watch now, I've created a template called About Us, right? So I cannot add anything I want to add about us inside this particular, under this particular About Us file now, which is if I open it on my code now, you now see it inside this rule now. I can decide to add anything here. So anything I add here, if I just write something like this is, but you go and do research and know something you need to add in About Us, I can say this is. About let me say I'll put it in a paragraph P. I will say okay. 
Okay, so let me say this is a battle page and you have something like this. So this is how you create a battle page. Then you can use your CSS to talk to this thing, right? I can choose, okay, I want this thing to maybe come to the center or to be bold. I want it to be bold. I will go to my CSS now. I'll go to my CSS. I'll go to my CSS now. And remember, I will pick a selector. This letter here is number one is row. And under the row, I have class. So I can give it a class. I can say about, I can say about class. Then I can come down here now and I say this about paragraph. So I'll go to my CSS now. Inside the CSS, I can just go down to the bottom. Go down to the bottom. I'll put a comment so that whoever that comes here will know that look at what I'm doing. I'll say comment about about our page. Then I'll come under it here now. I will now do I will do about dot about dot about. I want to talk to the paragraph, the P section. Dot about P. I will now I want to scroll up so that I'll be seeing it. And I say, okay, let's say, um, let's say the font size, let's say the font size should be, let's say the font size should be 30 PS. Okay. Let me just make it 100. Sorry, it's not taking effect. Let me go back again. Sorry, there's a mistake here. There's a mistake here. We have two, we have two class, which is not workable. Okay, so let me put the about inside here. So instead of, I see it is not big. You can see it is not big. So I can go to my CSS again, and that's, let me reduce it to 30. Let me reduce it to 30. You can see it is not big. So I can change the color. Let me say the color should be red. Let's say color should be red. So this is how you add code, irrespective of the fact that you are not the only one that is working on it. So you can add your code and also add your CSS in the CSS file. So you can see it here. So I haven't done with this. I'm done with this now. This is the battle. So I now need to push again, OK? So I'm done with this now. I now need to push again. I go back to my terminal. I click on new terminal. My terminal will open. My terminal will open. So I'm out of the file. I need to go back. Please take note. You can see I'm inside project, but I'm not inside group project one. So I need to go into the group project one. Take note of that mistake. It's always common. I will do group. Project one. Sorry. There's a mistake here. Project one. Okay. Then next thing I need to do is I start with my Git again. Git add. I'll press enter. <coughs> I'll say git commit. Git commit minus M. So I will say about us, about us page. I'll press enter. The next thing I'm doing here is an I push. I will say git push, git push origin, origin about us. I'll press enter. So I'll just allow Git to do the pushing for me, and Git is done doing the pushing. Okay. So I have actually succeeded in creating a battle speech. So if I push it, and when it comes here, whosoever that is receiving it, since it's Timmy that is receiving it, you can see it here. About us had been added in a second time when a minute ago. So since it's Timmy that is pushing it, I will also merge it. And if I merge it now, you will not see about us inside this. So the next person that want to work, right? The person will also go ahead and pull and keep on working. So that's how we work cooler.
breadthly from different angles, but we must define the scope of what we are working. And that's why you see me showing you this page. This is where we define the scope of what we are doing so that two persons will not be doing the same thing. And when two persons are doing the same thing, you will start having what we call match conflict. So, and if you are not working on anything, please work only on what is assigned to you, unless there is need for you to correct something. And for you to correct it, make sure it's not assigned to another person, right? Or if you have done it, please put it as a comment that this was corrected so that the person that is doing it will not proceed with it, okay? So I think, um, I don't know if anybody have questions at this point. Um, it's just like um, a little um, a summary of how the collaborative work is going to um, look like. Don't be scared. Uh, most of the guys you see working, that's how they are working. And it's very, very interesting anyway. Don't worry, when you start it, we see it's amazing, right? That's how you see somebody working even outside the country. They are doing their job, job are being defined. Then during the meeting review, we also maybe perhaps for this one, we may use our normal um, um, class time for our meeting review, right? So, but we normally have what we call our meeting reviews, some call it Crone, some call it Kazen, and some call it YTT. Why some will tell you is agile method. You must have a Crone masterclass whereby you define and explain what you are doing. And if you have challenges, people that will help you, will help you out, right? So also remember, research is very important. So when you have problems, some of the things we'll be sharing with you is videos and link. So in case if you are saying, I don't know how to link a file and somebody just share a link, tell you to follow up, please click on that link, go and watch the video, go back and solve your problem. So that's how you'll be, that's the type of help you'll be seeing going forward. You'll be seeing link. It, it must not be the one I've created. It can be from anybody. You'll also be seeing um, some eBooks. We can drop eBooks for you to read. So just pick the eBooks and then um, go through it. It can also be a screenshot of explanation of what you are asking of but the idea is don't always expect somebody to be the one to call you on phone and solve your problem no you will develop the capacity to do research and solve a problem to read and solve a problem and learn new things as you progress so i don't know if anyone have a question um <clears throat> you are free to answer your questions then we assign the task and we'll go and rest Okay, sir. Um, I was able to understand um, what you explained, and I will still have to go through and watch it again. But where I'm having conflict knowledge now is when it comes to the um, the the milestone. Like each person, like how will I know that this one is meant for me? How will I know this is? Oh, okay. 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 So first of all, yes, that's the next step we want to go into now. We need to assign each and everybody a responsibility so that we start working. So you will see your responsibility in the next session we are entering now, as soon as we are clear with questions. So we'll tell you what, what your scope is. Then you look at your scope and if you have questions, you ask. So we are always here to support you. Please, as a team, you can also support your co-team member. How, how, what do I mean? If somebody raises a concern, don't say it's the person's problem. No. You can help the person and go and start doing research and find the solution and share it with the person. You understand? It can also be a problem you have encountered. You just give the person the solution, how you will be able to solve your own problem. They are very, very nice collaborative work, right? So, and when somebody raise a concern and we are trying to address that person's concern. Don't say because you have not gotten to that point or um, it's not your problem, your own is different. You will just overlook it. No, please, when people raise concern, read what they are saying. Try to see if you can understand. Also try to see if you can help. If you're able to help, help them. If you're not able to help and somebody is helping, please listen to what that person is saying. Tomorrow may be your turn. You must also be in that shoe so that you won't come back with a question that has been solved. No. You should be able to know that, yeah, so, so, and so time, this person raised this concern, he solved it. And even though you did not pick 100% how it was solved, you'll be able to remember and you can contact that person directly. Yes, I know you solved this problem. How did you, how were you able to resolve it? The person will not just give you the first hand information, so you won't waste time 
doing more research or that running around you can just solve your problem because time is money seriously yeah so i don't know if any other person have any question again other than that so we distribute the class based on what we have on ground so in somebody want to say something yes yes sir regarding yeah. to the teamwork like i've been trying to connect with our team here and no one is like they are not showing me that spark for us to work together as a team like, I, mean, like, I, mean, I don't know maybe everybody just wants to stay on the own i felt maybe as like during that small few break i felt like we as students we are meant to be keeping in touch like we are also meant to be encouraging ourselves like be speaking to ourselves once in a while or fixed meeting within our cell phone. Mm -hmm. At least, like, show that interest. Despite everybody's busy, at least there should be there should be a a, a teamwork and team unification. Yeah, yeah, I think I get I get your point. So you know, um, one of the things you can do to do that uh, to collaborate that is if you can challenge people. How do you challenge people? Do so. There are some work you will throw on this platform. Some people will not sleep for one week again. There will be challenge. So if you challenge yourself, you can challenge others by doing extraordinary things. They want to know what you have done. You see somebody with, at that point will not start telling you when can we organize so that at least instead of me teaching, you cannot be the one to teach them, right? But if uh, nobody is coming up with a strange thing, everybody is doing the same thing, right? Um, nobody is like thinking out of the boss. Nobody is passing himself because if you work with your normal time, you can't achieve anything. You understand? You must work with extra time and that extra effort you put in. That's what for me, for my, for um, all I've seen, that's what God even bless. He doesn't bless no more time. It's that extra time you are putting in. That extra time you are keeping awake to make sure you get something resolved. That extra research you are doing when other people are sleeping, feeling comfortable, you are stressing yourself. That extra data you are adding instead of using it for other things, but you are sacrificing it, right? That sacrifice, that's what God normally bless. That's just what I have discovered as a person, just a personal thought and opinion. Okay, so if you do those things, you see people will respond. People want to see you leading, right? You will see them following. You even see them, before you know it, somebody will not challenge you. Ah, if this guy can do this, I will do more than him. Before one week, you see the person will give you a full project that you can't imagine how he was able to do it. Right, and that's then the competitive nature. We call it healthy competition. Those healthy competition drive the weaker ones. The weaker ones among us, you will now see them bringing head, right, trying to adapt. While those that have gotten the boldness will be driving the style. But not a problem. That's part of why and um, this particular session is also organized because um, it's also part of our training that we should work collaboratively. Aside this, we can also set up other projects. We can also set up our team um, class right maybe i will look in between or if you are said you can just volunteer we we'll set up a meeting whereby you can teach others but in all it's just the interest that's what matters it's just the interest that's the major thing just the interest so if we are interested and we are driving right we see us doing well and we'll go beyond where we are now yeah so but for now let's just um proceed with this okay so from the call because um we are working with what is available right we can't assign a job to anybody that is not here and please if by any means you think we are going to have any challenge please let us know and um, what we need at this point is total seriousness total seriousness okay i've actually set up the first one so i will delete the contactors that i just pushed i won't match it the home page is already done so i've done those two so um ada you will do the you will do the you will okay let me okay so what will happen right what yeah. will happen is i will put i will put the, the page that i just did right i will rename it so the name will be template the name will be them. Okay, let me assign it to let me assign it to Michael. Michael, you will do exactly what I did. I will delete that about us file, right? You will do about yes, us. 
you will do about us and you will also do a template the about us before you proceed you now save it as a template right that template exactly what i did that's what you will do so you save it as a template so that other people will use that template to create their own fine like ada will do ada will do contact us for us so as you are doing the contact us you will use that template that mike is going to create okay so okay. let me see if i can do the assign let me see if i can be assigning you guys now well, i don't know if um, i'm only seeing this one is also in my own i'm not even seeing you guys on the on the list i'm not seeing you guys on the list I don't know if you can see my name, sir. Yeah, I see those of you that have accepted. I see them, but it's not coming up on this list because I'm supposed to assign each individual. Yeah, we do the assignment. I'm supposed to assign each individual here. So, what if I click on all these? Let me see if I can see other. Nothing is even coming up. Yet. Okay, we we'll just do it already anyway, but I need to keep documentary of what we are doing so that I will know I will know who to I will know who is accountable for what. Okay, you can write your own task. Ada, go ahead and write yours. Ada, you are creating for that first page. My why my is about all speech. Yes, you are creating a battles and a template. You also create a template for us. Okay, um, so who else do we have here? Is there only two of you? James. Even I am with a left, I am with not. Okay, okay, so far, so, so far. Um, and that you also done that thing for us, and that you will link the home page, you will link the you will link the home page. You are the one to do all the linking for us. You will link the home page. You also link the contact us. Page. Remember, Mike will do the contact us while you will do the linking. Then you also link the contact page for us. Then Mike, James, yes. James, James, you are going to do. Um, you will create a policy page for us. You will create a policy page for us. You will create a policy page for us. Then, then we will do this contact form. But then you do all the things you know, so. Then after creating a policy page for us, Mike, you also, Mike, what and what have I been giving you? Mike, you also create only about us and you renounce you know one talk like you create a logo you change that logo we want to change this logo now you can see this logo here we want to change it we want to change the logo to normal logo so you construct something for us and you change it okay close that to that adventure now, yes we want to remove that adventure i want to put the logo so you can construct okay. anything that will have the adventure Okay. Just use your design style and skill and do something for us. Then finally, finally, okay, I told you to develop a template. Okay, let me create a template. I 
Okay. Okay, so Mike, you create this template for us as well. You create the template. So what else? Am I missing out anything? Okay, James, next thing you will do for us, James, you will create. James, you will create. Hello, James. The, yeah, Hello, James. Create the, I can hear you. Hello, James. Can I can you hear me. Good evening. Sorry, yeah. I came in late. I have a I have a district call after work. So just coming back. <clears throat> I just coming back now. And um, as I told you before, my my work is actually scattered. I don't know where to begin from this thing. I'm just um, kind of uh, following up to see if I can get up some of this if I've uh, been able to. Um, so I don't know where to start now. Moreover, my system is having issues. I don't know where to start. I guess only, you, only you only you get all this only you get all this problem. You will start somewhere. Like. This one is this one is a fresh project. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is a fresh project, so you don't need anything to start. You don't even what you need is just your system only and install your. And visual studio code and make sure you have created your account and you have added it that's what you need to do this one so this one we have done the basic program all you need here is just to start from from the file and um, develop your own right so you will do you will do the policy page for us you will also um who else okay uh, mike mike you'll be the one to do this you will add a google map so you add a Google map, look for any location, add Google map in the contact page. So let me just reframe. Okay. Let me just reframe. The first one, the home page has been created. We have set up the GitHub account. Then and that can go ahead with the contact us page. So and that you will develop a contact us page. So inside contact us, what you can write these things down. That's the basic thing we need in the contact us. Every contact us page, number one must have the address of the company to so look for any address and use it as your contact us page it must have a phone number it must have an email address these are the things they need to contact so if you want you can also add a picture of how the place look like you can put it by the side, but make sure anything you are arranging, your content look very amazing. They should look very good, but it's your choice, actually. We are not restricting you. We just want you to have an open mind, right? And do something that is meaningful. Okay? Yeah. So, that's what you will do in the contact us page, right? So, I haven't done that. In the about us page, um, Michael, what we need here is just come up with the what we are discussing. It's just an adventure. It's a toiling something, okay? It's a toiling website. So you just come up with um, history and maybe probably one or two information about the history website. But the major thing we are trying to make, see here is to make sure you organize your content very well. Let it look very pretty. If you want to add an image, good and fine. We we'll put image by the side. We we'll put some statement by the side. Organize it, let it look very okay. Just put, but it shouldn't be much. You just few statements and some explanations and blah blah blah, right? Just about us. What are we into? What do we do? Why us? You right? You can write those things like why us? Why choosing us? What are we into? What is our product? What is our mission? But just make them very simple. You may not go those routes, but just select some basic things. That's what you will do there. So on our policy, James, what you need to do is um, as an adventure, this thing, you can browse out some policy that can govern an adventure um, company, right? Um, a toiling company, what are their policies? You just put few, but organize the content, let it make sense. <coughs> let it make sense, okay? So the next one, James, you are still the one to do for us. So you need to create a contact form so you can do research on how to create contact form. We learned how to put input boards, a contact form normally contains your name or email address. It contains 
comment uh, is contents and um, title which is the title of what you are trying to comment on and the content then you put submit button and you put to the same button but measure the submit button okay just three things or four things number one is the email address right the name is not even necessary just the address you put the title or subject of your comment then you put the comment first and you put the submit button that's all so and this form, come again come again come again hello can you hear me please come again the second one say create a contact form yes inside the contact us page when ada is done with contact us page you will go inside the contact us page and create a comment button a comment a, a content a contact form and i say this contact form is collecting only email address is collecting comments is collecting subjects right and a submit button that are just the four items you will put inside the contact form so if you want to know more about it you can browse just browse contact form you will see different format different type okay then you create yours and make sure they look good so the next one is for Mike, which is google map so Mike, you will do research on this one. Open your YouTube, watch videos, how to create Google Map. Right? How to insert Google Map in your um application. Right? So you go and do it. It's very simple anyway. It's not so tedious. So just choose any location of your choice, pin it on your Google Map, copy it and put it in an iframe. And you now upload it, you now paste it inside your um, you can just generate the iframe from Google Map and paste it inside your code. That's all. But go and do research about it, okay? So remember, um, as you are doing all these things, you will teach us because we'll have a review meeting where you explain what you did so that other people will also learn. So Ada, you will do the linking for us. Remember all of them, all the whole pages, you will go around them and do the linking. <coughs> you will go around them and do the linking. So let's say about us here. Now you see the link. You will see the link in here. So you come here and change all these things for us. You will change this. You will change this. Index.html has been done. So you will go ahead and you will do this, change it to about us, change to our policy, change to this. Then you now change the link here, which is the same way we have index.html. About us will now be about us.html. Right? You can change the code here. So you do the linking and you will test all of them. You'll be the one to test all of this. If you have done one, you just copy that one and paste in all of them. If I want to do for index now, just copy it and paste in index. The same location, the same place, and I will go and test them. So you do all the linking for us so that all this link we are seeing here will be working. I can come here and click. I will go to that page, come back. I will go front. I will go back. So that's how this one will be done. Okay. So then I think that's all we needed. Then the logo, Michael will do the logo. Just create the logo, remove the, when you are done, you remove the adventure and then um, put that logo. Then finally, Michael, you create this template for us again. And that's all. Yes, sir. Okay, at this, point, upload it, right? at this point, any question from anybody? Hello? Are we all, yeah, come here, you go ahead. I said, once I'm done with the template, I will upload it. Yes, yes. Anything you are doing, you are uploading immediately because other people are working with your information, right? Okay. Anything you are doing, you upload. Anything you are doing, you upload. Make sure every day you push something. Every blessed day before you go, even though you are not done, please push, right? So that other people will be working on your on what you have done because your input, your input, your output is somebody's input. You understand? Yeah. So any comments? So the web site central, like sorry, you are breaking. What's the website called? Because I've not my right to be like. Hello again. You said what? I said my the website is about. I don't get your question. Yeah, what's your question? Like, what is the website about so that i will know how my write-up of my mission statement will be like 
So the website, like as I said, eh, is an event website, right? So if you go through it, you just see it's just like an event website where people come and um, they can toy around, right? But we are not doing any booking. It's just a matter of um, you toy around a website, a, um, a particular location you want to go on toy, you want to go and visit to any location, okay? So that's just what okay. the website is about. Um, okay, yeah. okay. So that's all. That, okay. That, please, the video, this video that was recorded, I don't know. You could help us push it to YouTube, please. Let me can upload it now. The thing is, okay, let me see if network is strong enough. You will get it now or you get it tomorrow. Okay, thank you, sir. James. Hello, James. All right. Okay. Hello, James. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Say, what about uploading it? If I uh, finish, will you pass through the same that process you made for the last uh, uh, your last class to upload it? Because I wasn't <coughs> that uh, that last class I wasn't with a laptop and uh, I was using, using my phone. I wasn't getting everything. How do we upload it? Yes, that we spent time. We spent time on doing all those things, right? We did all of them. We started afresh.